I could be wrong, but I'm like 99% sure I'm getting proposed to on this trip. Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. It is March. I have not filmed a single video this whole year. I needed that break. The last time I posted was in December and being quite honest, the only reason why I was so consistent those like last five, six months of last year was because I had a contract that needed to be fulfilled and that contract's over now. So I wanted to take a break and honestly, I just didn't really have much that I felt like filming. I really do the same thing every single day. So I feel like it's not as entertaining for you guys, but tell me if I'm wrong. Anyways, it is March 6th filming brought the camera out today had to dust it off because i haven't used it in forever but i wanted to take you along this next week because in so next wednesday so seven days from now i'm heading to vacation and i think when i come back from vacation i'll have a ring on this finger i could be wrong but i'm like 99 percent sure I'm getting proposed to on this trip and I'm pretty confident about it. That 1% could still be a possibility and if it is, you probably won't be seeing this vlog because that's quite embarrassing. However, I'm pretty sure I'm getting proposed to which I'm so excited about. I'm just, I'm ready for it and I'm excited for it. I just think that it's crazy to think that this is gonna be happening in the next week or so. So, here I am, I wanted to bring you guys along, kind of just like a prep for me to I guess get proposed to. Don't know when exactly I'm doing all this, that's why I want to film now, kind of just fill you guys in because this video probably will be all over the place because it's not gonna be just like me filming all day today, it's gonna be throughout this whole week leading up to my trip. I need to one, pop off these nails, they are glamnetic, love glamnetic but they one they're old so they need to be popped off but i'm gonna actually get some real nails uh for the trip because i just can't risk having some fake nails popping off on me yes is that a cheaper route but i'm not getting proposed to with some messed up nails i did tell him that uh when he is gonna propose he needs to somehow tell me that i need my nails done which i'm still waiting for him to tell me or figure out a way to tell me because he knows that I only wear glamnetic nails. I never really go to the nail salon anymore, but I told him I want my nails done specifically for being proposed to. So still waiting, but I think I've mentioned saying like I'm getting my nails done. So he probably just figured out that I'm gonna go get them on, done on my own because we're going on vacation. I don't know if he knows that I know he's proposing. I definitely will fill you guys in. Once I'm proposed to, I'm gonna tell you guys everything. What what led me up to this decision or assumption of him proposing to me while we're on vacation. This has been a thought going in my mind, honestly, since last year. Like I knew it was gonna be, it, or potentially gonna be in this moment. Should I send your message? Oh no, Siri was recording all that and I said, to whom should I send your message? To no one. I don't need to say to anyone that I know he's proposing. Okay, well, deleted that. It's not being sent to anyone. We're good. Obviously, you guys all know, but it's gonna be after the fact that I'm proposed to. Anyways, I have a few outfits. I went shopping with my sister. Again, pretty sure my sisters, my whole family knows that I'm getting proposed to. Uh, and my sisters know that I think I'm getting proposed to us. So I asked my sister if we could go shopping just so I have some outfits. Really didn't find much. So I ended up ordering some things online. A few options came in the other day and they fit honestly perfect. Another few options are coming in on Friday. So I'll check those out to see kind of what options. I did send him a whole list of things of like do's and don'ts. You guys may think... I'm doing too much for my own proposal, but one, it's my proposal, and two, I think naturally there's just like certain things like I want my nails done, I want to look good, like I don't want to be in some leggings going on a hike being proposed to, just personally, like I'd rather be put together, look good, uh, 
you know, don't need a photographer, but would want somehow like the moment to be captured. The only one thing that I said I probably am like being a little annoying about is I like my right side. That's my good side. And I told him if we have a photographer, I really want my good side to be shot. So, I mean, it's not a must, but it is kind of a must. <laughs> or at least get a cute, few cute photos on my good side. And then the only other thing I think I mentioned is um, reaching out to my sisters. They know me best if he needs any help and all that. So I'm not being like too much. I just want him to take notes on a few things. So that's where we're at. I'll bring you guys along this week. Wanted to update you where I'm at. I probably am all over the place right now in this vlog already, but that's just me and how I'm feeling fully excited uh we've been talking about this for so long so i think it's just been like a build up of leading to this moment until it happens so i probably will feel fully chaotic this whole week but so excited just to go and on vacation together he thinks that i think we're going on vacation because his birthday is tomorrow actually and then my birthday is the beginning of april so it was like a birthday trip for both of us in between our birthdays he's saying that this is the trip like why we're going on this trip is just a little vacation for our birthdays but i'm pretty sure he's proposing so your girl is gonna come back engaged so i'm excited but i'll definitely keep you guys updated throughout this week of all the things preparation getting ready for vacation and being proposed to. It is Friday. I have not filmed since I introed the video. Yesterday was my boyfriend's birthday and honestly just I worked throughout the day and then we went out to dinner at night. So I didn't really do anything in preparation for the trip. So today it's 3 p.m. I honestly just have been working all day and now I'm finally gonna go run some errands and all that. So I wanted to update you guys. I honestly was not about to continue filming because I just have so much to do before the trip and I felt just overwhelmed with all the things that I need to complete. But I know that if I don't film this or have some form of memory, I'll probably be sad. So I wanted to record this either way. It's just, I just need to remember to relax a bit. I don't need to feel overwhelmed. I'm just making myself overwhelmed. It's an exciting moment and exciting time, but I also have work and just like other things in life that need to be completed prior to this trip too. And then just obviously preparing i have a f like just full of emotions right now so i feel like i've just been chaotic and need to just chill for a second so anyways with all that said the only update is i popped off these nails and guys i totally forgot so back in it's probably like november so months ago Brandon and I, we were at my gym because we were working out. I think we ran and then we did abs. And so I, I can't remember exactly what we were doing, why I had additional weights around me, but I was doing the medicine ball twist or whatever that exercise and I didn't realize I had a kettlebell to the left of me. Why did I say kettlebell? That's a weird kettlebell. That sounds weird coming out of my mouth. Anyways, a kettlebell next to me, and when I twisted that way, I smashed my ring finger between um, the kettlebell and the medicine ball. So since then, my ring finger has been absolutely dead, and I've just been trying to hang on to this nail because I need to get my nails done before this trip. We are not getting proposed to with a nail falling off, but I'm not flipping you guys off. This is my ring finger. Can you guys see it? I'm looking at my viewfinder right now. I don't know if it's focusing, but it is dead. It is so dead, but it's hanging on. It's hanging on for its dear life. It knows that I'm getting proposed to and needs to hang on. But so anyways, I took off the Glamnetic nails. They look crusty and dusty right now, but I need to get my nails done on probably on Tuesday at this point just because I have a lot going on throughout this weekend. So I want to take off the Glamnetic nails so that they could just breathe a little bit before I get my nails done. I think I'm just going to get some Gel X just because I don't do acrylics anymore. Those destroy my nails. So I'm probably just going to get Gel X. And also obviously I need to get a pedicure as well because these toes ain't looking cute either. Anyways, um... I have a package in the package room. It's the last outfit that I needed to be sent 
to try on and I think after that I'll be good on outfits I just don't know exactly the outfit that I would want to be like proposed to again I told him I would want to be in a specific outfit and I told my sister that she'll be aware of the outfits that I more than likely want to be proposed to so somehow there needs to be some communication between me my sister and him in order to get me in that outfit for whatever the day and the time I'm being proposed to I have a feeling I know I have a feeling what days it could potentially be and I definitely have a feeling of how it's gonna be but I could be totally wrong again all of this will be shared after the fact that I've been proposed to but I have a good feeling of when it could be and a really good feeling of how it's gonna be so um in terms of like the outfits I've kind of been preparing and then it's not like my sis my sister has been shifting me otherwise in terms of outfits to get so the fact that she's like approving and telling me these are good outfits I think we're good to go on whatever and however he's proposing to me and then after getting that from the mail room I'm gonna try it on and then go run to Target Ulta and Walgreens there's a few things that I need to get him just in general just like to have and then things for trips since we need to have like travel size stuff and then by that time i'm probably just gonna go over his place i just made it back home from the nail salon these are what the nails are looking like i just got a french tip i typically would get a version of these with glamnetics so i just ended up getting these um, this style at the nail salon i felt like it was fitting for vacation and obviously the proposal i wanted my nails just to be very like neutral and basic and then i got uh, white on my toes. So that's the update. It is currently 2.20. I am going to probably eat and watch TV and do a little bit more work before packing because I have not started packing yet. And then later in the evening, I'm going to head over to my boyfriend's place. Um, but I don't want to be up too late tonight just because we have an early morning flight. Good morning. I need to head out or we need to head out to our flight in the next couple hours. It's currently 7.15. When I got home last night from bring it, being at Brandon's, I ended up having a really bad stomach ache once I got home. So I ended up just laying down on the couch for hours because I still needed to pack, but my stomach was hurting so badly. I just did not feel like moving. So I ended up getting up around like 12.30 this morning like midnight to start packing and I stayed up until around 1 15 or so and then my alarm went off at 5 just so I could shower this morning wash my hair straighten it uh shave all that stuff and then finish up packing which I still have not finished up my luggage is on the floor over there and then I still need to figure out whether I'm going to put some stuff from my luggage in my bag just because I don't know if I'm going to be able to close it but I got almost everything in there and then anything else that I need to I might just give to Brandon and put in his um, check-in bag because he probably has more space in there but he also has bigger clothes than I do so we'll see if i need to put anything in his bag but that is the update we're gonna head out i am not gonna actually like film during the trip i just want it you know to enjoy being there with him be present not really have my camera out i'll probably have um like snippets on my phone just because i'm also making some reels like is he proposing or type of those type of videos uh so i'm trying to get snippets like behind the scenes preparing up to the proposal but you guys will see updates obviously after this clip of the proposal and all that good stuff but that is all the preparation because we are heading out and we'll see when the proposal happens on the strip <laughs> so we're in cabo right now i'm in the hotel room he just left but i wanted to update you guys i can feel like i need a whisper because i know he left but i feel like i can't talk also i look like a hot mess we just got back from we went to the gym and then we went and got breakfast and then he had a meeting at 10 a.m and so yesterday when we were heading here he was like oh, i feel like i got a whisper he was like um oh like they're offering us a complimentary photo shoot for our birthdays and then i was like okay he's like i need to meet up with them at 10 um to discuss some of the like the details in my head i'm like oh well if it was complimentary photo shoot why can't i come you know but he didn't say i could come he said he'll be back yesterday also he was just like oh I, we should match while out here like what outfits do you, like colors and outfits do you have mind you i told my sister exactly the outfit that i wanted to wear and he told me what day i should wear that outfit so i think it's happening tomorrow 
don't know he didn't say when the photo shoot is but my assumption is that it's gonna happen during this photo shoot because of the fact that i also said that i wanted a camera around to capture the moment i could be wrong but i originally thought it was gonna be at dinner it's still good maybe this is like a he's doing it as we go to dinner i don't know but i think it may happen now during this photo shoot and then we have dinner after but that's the update it's literally april 20th i have not filmed since that last clip but i was right i'm engaged that last clip that i posted i think was in the room and i was talking about how i think he was proposing the next day which was the 15th of march and i was correct he ended up proposing that day and he proposed during that photo shoot it's kind of wild because earlier in the video i was talking about how i had a great feeling of how he was going to propose and it ended up being totally different but then my mind thought he was doing it during that photo shoot that i kind of mentioned which he ended up doing that which was not my original thought i thought he was going to do it at the dinner that we had after the photo shoot so that actually ended up being a surprise at the end of the day because my whole mindset shifted from the dinner to the um photo shoot and then i kind of forgot about having like a private dinner or on the beach which that's where i originally thought the photo shoot or not the photo shoot the proposal was going to be so that ended up being a little surprise but i kind of just wanted to come on here and end up telling you guys one how i knew everything and how the proposal ended up going it's been over a month now it doesn't really feel any different like everyone always keeps asking like how do you feel i feel like i just feel good the only difference is that i have a ring on my finger and now we're planning for our wedding so wedding planning is a whole different situation that's a whole different story but i'm excited for that we'll full we're full blown into that process because we are going to get married uh this year so planning for that already to go into kind of everything i usually will write down notes but I just kind of pulled out my camera because I already had some makeup on. We just came back from a brunch. And then I was like, let me just pull out the camera and finally give an update because so many of you guys who follow me on Instagram specifically keep saying we're waiting for the video. So I didn't film anything like behind the scenes um, of the proposal because obviously like I didn't know exactly when it was happening. But I did post a reel and photos on my Instagram. So I'll have that at the end of this video if you have not seen that already. They're just posted on my Instagram. So unless you follow me, you wouldn't know. But I feel like since I'm just going to go back to how I even thought this was going to happen, why I thought it was going to happen during this time, it will probably be all over the place. But I'm going to try my best not to just like ramble on and on forever, but also give you guys kind of a breakdown of everything. So I think I told earlier in the video that I thought, or like this has been in my mind since last year. So basically, I always had a feeling he was going to propose during a private dinner on the beach i kind of mentioned that briefly earlier just because when we first started dating in general we were kind of just talking about marriage early on not like marriage between us but just like we want marriage and x y and z and he always told me how he would want to propose if whenever that day came and so in my mind because my mind was thinking that he was going to propose like at a private dinner on the beach i felt like the only way possible would be on our next trip because when would we ever be on a private dinner on the beach then we went to hawaii last year and then after hawaii he was like we should plan another trip for next year maybe around our birthdays blah 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 i'm not sure i haven't actually asked him if like he thought that he was going to propose during that next trip or if he was just saying like we should plan a trip for our birthdays and then end up being where that's where he decided that he was going to propose to but either way, I had a feeling back after that trip that that could be the possibility only because we also talked about wanting to be married in this year. So if we were going to be married this year, I knew that the proposal had to come because we also talked about how many months we'd want to be engaged. So I knew that in order to have our wedding this year, plus the certain amount of months being engaged, we needed to have the proposal at some point in the first half of the year to make it happen in december he ended up booking the trip so he booked the trip and i was like dang okay i definitely think it's gonna happen but it, it could be wrong it could just be a birthday trip because his birthday was in march mine's in april and we're going at the end or like middle of march so it could have just been a birthday trip for us when it came to january 
again like we didn't go ring shopping and i was like okay this trip is coming up when is this man gonna bring me ring shopping and i was over here talking to my sisters like i feel like he's gonna propose but i just don't know like is it gonna happen because we haven't gone ring shopping it came to valentine's day and i included included this inside the little reel i made but he i had a really good feeling that he was gonna take me ring shopping that day because he ended up texting me like oh i'm gonna pick you up at this time um x y and z and so at that time i didn't know what we were doing and typically if we have plans he'll tell me like what we're doing but he just said i'm gonna pick you up and so i didn't know if i was allowed to know so i basically asked him like am i allowed to know what we're doing or can i at least know what you're wearing so that i could figure out an outfit for myself he ended up telling me what he was gonna wear and then he didn't tell me what we were doing he just said like dinner is part of like the later part of the evening of valentine's day so I felt like that was a perfect moment because he was kind of keeping the secret, but he obviously had plans. So I felt like we were going to go ring shopping, which I was right. He ended up taking me ring shopping and then we went to dinner. We went ring shopping again a few days later to another place. And from there, he kind of had a whole idea in mind of what I liked. And I think he ended up purchasing it the next following like few days. I can't remember if I'm missing anything, but that's kind of like the reason that made me think it was gonna happen at a private dinner on the beach in Cabo for this vacation just because of all those things like leading up prior to this vacation and talking about marriage and when we wanted it in this year or our wedding in this year so it just made most sense but when it came to the trip what was so funny was again oh okay no this was another reason why i thought like i knew it was happening a few weeks before we went on the trip i wasn't sure if he had talked to my family or asked my parents for their blessing or my whole family or whatnot but there was one day it was a thursday i can't remember what day exactly it was so me and him have our location shared and i really don't look at his location at all but this particular day and i'm not even just like saying that to, like i literally just don't check it because either i'm always with him or we're always texting so i always kind of know where he's at but that particular day he had rehearsal later that evening typically he'll be working and then it gets later into the evening before rehearsal and i'll kind of remind him like hey don't forget you have rehearsal because sometimes he can just like get caught up in work and I just I like to remind him. He ended up sending me music and he only sends me new music typically if he's on the, at the gym by himself or he's driving. And so when he sent me that song, something just like made me click in my head like, oh, he has rehearsal. I should remind him like, hey, you should head out soon. I texted him that and I went to go check his location just to see like, oh, maybe he's already on his way because he sent me that song. Because in my head, he usually only sends me music one of two things. And I knew he wasn't at the gym at that moment. And I saw he was on the road, but he ended up texting me saying, oh, shoot, I should head out soon or something along those lines like i should head out of my place and so then i was like why did this man tell me he should head out if he's already on the road i was like okay where let's see where he's going but the thing was is that he was in the direction of going to church so i didn't think anything of it so i thought oh maybe he was picking up the ring and he didn't want to say that and so then he was trying to make up a, a like a lie to make it seem like he was at home still but either way it made me continue to check his location to see where he was heading because i knew he had rehearsal i ended up like continuing doing work kind of checking here and there and i finally ended up checking and guys he was at my sister's place and i was like oh he's definitely meeting up with my family to ask for their blessing i ended up checking my other sister's location that lives not at this sister's place so basically one of my, my oldest sister lives like a few blocks from our church so it just made sense that they all met there because he had to be on his way to church anyways and my other family just ended up driving to my oldest sister's place my middle sister i checked her location and it was off and i was like oh they're definitely all together now i have this little secret that i have to hold on to but it just made me laugh because he actually ended up turning off his location but i guess somehow because like i already checked it it kept his location turned to my sister's place 
So even when he was at rehearsal, it was saying that he was still at my sister's place and it didn't go back to his actual like live location until he was home that evening. But I was just like laughing so much. And then I ended up telling him after he proposed, I was like, dude, I knew that you guys all met up. It was just funny because I was telling my family that and they're like, you're just so nosy. But it's funny because Brandon also should know that I will always check my sister's location. So he should have known. I mean, no, he shouldn't have known because I really don't. And it just ended up being like random because he sent me that song and I ended up checking it. But if I, if he didn't say I should head out, if he was saying something along the lines like, oh, I'm on my way already, then I wouldn't have thought anything of it and wouldn't have continued to check his location. But that little text made me continue to watch where he was. To go to the actual proposal part, when we were on the flight, he ended up telling me, oh, I ended up scheduling a complimentary photo shoot with them for our birthdays, blah, blah, blah. And literally the moment he said that, I was like, this is definitely what he was proposing. But I had to obviously play it cool. So I was like, okay, like that sounds fun. But when we got to the resort, they had the, the photographer's like office on the way to the pool. And so whenever we walked by, I ended up kind of like looking over there and they did have a screen that said, book your complimentary shoot with us. And so in my head, I was like, wait, hold up. Maybe he just did decide to book a complimentary shoot for us just to have like a fun little activity. So then I was like, okay, maybe it's not happening. He ended up kept saying like, oh, like the, from the moment we got there and he mentioned it a few times, like we should end up matching um, while on our trip. And I think that was his way of trying to figure out which outfits I had. I'm telling my sister like, hey, I want to wear this one, blah, blah, blah. And I guess my sister was in communication with him to notify him already. I was saying that earlier in the video that they needed to be in communication. So she was already doing that with him. So he basically like, oh, it was like what outfits or what colors of outfits do you have? And so I told him and the first response was, oh, you should wear the ivory one on Friday. So in my head, I was like, okay, I think it's happening on Friday. I don't know when this photo shoot's happening, but I'm assuming it's gonna be Friday as well. What threw me off still too was after the photo shoot, he told me he had a dinner planned at this one restaurant. Mind you, I would have thought like we were gonna have a nice fancy dinner or whatnot after the you know proposal, but the restaurant he was telling me, we went there one time for lunch and I was like, why would he take me there for dinner? Like, it just didn't feel like the vibe after we just got engaged. I was like, okay, I'm really getting thrown off. But it was good because I really, I was just trying to do my investigating. But at the same time, I'm not really one for surprises. I ended up having so much peace knowing that day of when I was getting proposed to. On that Friday morning, I had texted my sister like, hey, I just want to, you know, confirm this is the day I should wear this outfit. And she was like, yes, you should. He had finally told me when the photo shoot was because he ended up having a meeting with the photographers. I think on that Thursday, I think I mentioned that in the video. It came to that Friday when I was talking to my sister, I kind of told her like, hey, like, I can't tell him like I need time to get ready. So can you let him know? And so me and him that day, I think honestly, we woke up, we went to the gym, got breakfast, went to the pool, went and ate like lunch. And then we went back up and ended up just getting ready for the photo shoot because the photo shoot was at five o'clock. So, and then our dinner was at 6.30 or something along those lines. It came to, I think we started getting ready around like two to three o'clock. And I think that's when he started to really feel the nerves coming in because I felt, I could feel that he was like, he was going in and inside and outside, sitting on the chairs and going outside on the balcony. And then he like went downstairs because he was like, oh, I just need to make sure everything's good. And then like they came up and knocked on the door. And then instead of him like opening the door, he like went outside and I'm like, okay, this man is acting a little weird. He's, you know, this is definitely happening. So I, in the meantime, I was just doing makeup, getting ready. And oh, I forgot that I got burnt at the pool, I have wore sunscreen, but I was like, no, I did not just get burnt. I was getting ice cubes, I had some aloe on. I was like, I needed to calm down, but you really can't see it in the photos. They edited it pretty well, like the lighting was pretty good, so you couldn't really see that I was burnt, but I definitely had a little burn on my like shoulders, chest area, but it ended up not really being noticeable. We went down at around five o'clock, so it was 
two photographers, like one, you know, the main person who ended up taking the photos and like assistant. I think they just had her because they knew they were in on the proposal. They had taken us around the resort, had taken some photos together. I knew that it was gonna happen at the arch. And so we went up there, we took a few more photos together and then they were like, oh, Cassie, like let's get a few of you by yourself. And so this arch kind of like was facing the water. So basically they were like, oh, it will be nice to get like a photo behind you um, of you looking out at the water. And I was like, I know this man is about to come up behind me and propose. That's exactly what happened. I was looking out and I could see from the sun his shadow coming up behind me. So he ended up turning me around. He said his little spiel, which in that moment, I really just like blanked. I blacked out. I heard like the first two lines and then all my mind was could remember was like tell make sure i say yes but it's funny because in that moment like while i felt so much like ease obviously the nerves came in during the photo shoot because i knew it was going to happen at some point and when it actually came to the part where he came up behind me i literally said out loud oh man it's happening like i thought i was thinking that in my head but i actually said it out loud so it was just i guess you don't really know what to prepare for in that moment but we just kind of laugh about it now i can't even remember how i said yes but he did confirm i said yes he put the ring on and then we end up going down to the beach and took photos then and it was that's where i said the whole dinner on the beach ended up being surprised because we were taking photos along the beach and at that time they were setting up this private dinner and they had like rose petals and then this sign that said like love and everything and it was so cute and towards the end of our photo shoot they were like oh let's take some photos along this like rose petal pathway and in my head i was like no we're like messing up this rose petal path for whoever this dinner is for not knowing the dinner was for us the whole time so we end up taking the photos saying thank you and then the servers were there like oh like we're gonna take you to your your table and blah 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 and i was like oh wait this dinner is for us so we did end up having that private dinner on the beach where i originally thought the proposal was gonna be he did want to propose in that way he actually said he wanted to have like a marry me sign where the love sign was but there was kind of some like language barriers and communication that he couldn't get through so they ended up just doing it during the photo shoot which ended up being perfect because we ended up getting the photos captured and then we still had a private dinner along the beach it ended up being a great proposal he did an amazing job i'm so happy and we at that time we were just like eating dinner enjoying you know texting all of our family and friends and all of that so yeah that's pretty much the whole proposal the whole situation of Cabo I was right I wasn't just preparing for a vacation I was preparing for a proposal but now we are fully into being engaged a whole month um being engaged and only how many months of this engagement before we are married so it's wild it's i don't even know how to i, I like i said it's kind of just like the same it, it, you just now we're full-blown in wedding planning and talking about things for marriage and all that doing what we need to do so fully excited i definitely want to get back into vlogging I can't promise I'll be back right away. I will be moving soon. And there's just like a lot of transitions happening in this season. So I do want to make sure to capture it. But I can't promise. I may end up having a new vlog up like once we're married. I don't really know. But all those, you know, videos to come in the future, I know that you guys are looking forward to. And I'm looking forward to being able to capture that all and just have it for memory. So that's all i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll definitely include any photos and the reel at the end of this but i can't believe we're actually engaged it's happened we are here i'm a full fiance and yes i fully am in fiance mode where if someone asks to see this ring or even if someone doesn't ask to see this ring i'm doing everything for people to see the ring anyways i hope you guys enjoy this clearly you guys see my excitement but yeah i guess we'll see what the next video is stay tuned <laughs>